quite a bit. It would be nice if we could get Go you to talk about some of your pictures, some yes. of the family pictures, yes. especially. Yes, well. If, uh, if it's possible, you could open them and yes. open it up so that the camera can see what you're pointing at. I don't know if you're going to turn it Let's, around. Let's uh, close the camera off for a minute. Could, this is your father. Is, is that in, in range? Yes, really? that's fine. That's perfect. That, that's so that's my, Percy. That, that's Percy Fa Page, my father. Percy Gordon. Percy Gordon Page. Do you know where Gordon came from? Is there a reason why he was called Gordon? No, I, d I don't really And know. you were as well? No, I, d I don't really know. No. Um, so the other pictures here... These other pictures are the, the two Scott brothers and my father on their old motorbikes. So that Yes. And that, I think, is a photograph taken in the original um, Military Road garage of a very old car. And there's my father on his motorbike. And there's, there's my mother on the motorbike and sidecar. And they used to, in those days, when the, this was before I was born, of course, um, they used to go with the motorcycle club which used to start off from Head St up High Street mm. um, and go on little rallies and like run to go to Ipswich or go to Clacton and back, which in those days there was quite there was several of the people are, are known on that mm, photograph. It's nice that you've named them, yes. And uh, this is an old photo, um, a, a, a old garage um, letter. And, um, one or two old bills and things. Um, old prices of cars. For Morris, yes. And some old garage bills and the workshop that put Ooh. costs there. And that one isn't, well, that was dated 1924. When you were not even about yet. No, I wasn't even born then. <laughs> and that's sort of a bill of something or other. And it's all in three shillings, one and th mm. five bob. And it all comes to nothing very much for a major job. And uh, the mill at uh, Military Road in those days, they used to make um, side curtains for the um, Morris cars. Ooh. I think that's a shame I hear somebody. Um, and sell them all over the place. And that's some old photographs of the garage being, the showroom in Crouch Street being built. Um, and there's some sort of various cars of them. Um, so you, they were building these, the bodies of these? Yes, vehicles. well, somewhat, yes, we did build bodies. This is dated, this is a letter from William Morris in 1931. <laughs> I wish to thank you very much indeed for all the efforts you have made in connection with the introduction and marketing of our 1932 Morris cars and vans, and so forth. Ooh. So it's a little letter of thanks. And there's another one there from Mr. Morris, who became Lord Nuffield. So these are, and these are old cars going back in the 20s that were supplied. And this is um, a photograph of the site at Bexhill on Sea, of the building, the new garage at Bexhill on Sea in Sussex, which was built. This was photographed in 19, well, 1929, 1930. Hmm. And it was actually opened in 1931. And that's it being built there. And who is the group there? Um, the group there is my father's brother, Tom Page. Where is he? He's in the centre there. Yeah. And uh, he managed it. He's in partnership with my father, and he ran it. So this is the Bexhill the, side? This is yeah. the Bexhill. Nearly finished, hmm. nearly built. It was actually opened by Amy Johnson, the well-known... Aircraft air, air, pilot. Air pilot yes. of that day, who was world famous, and she actually opened it. And there's a photograph of her with my father walking along the front at Bexhill on Sea <laughs> at the opening, and that's her car 
engine car in the garage while she, uh, with my father, mm. uh, Amy Johnson. And this is the press cuttings about it at the time. Mm. Um, and that's the uh, brochure sign um, of the menu. They went to the hotel and had a lunch, and a special lunch for the occasion. And um, incidentally, there was the mayor of Colchester and several people from Colchester went down to the opening. And that's a sign. That's a sign signature on a motion. And that's it. The photograph of the actual garage, um, the corner site. There was. Is it still of, there? It's sti it, 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 it's, it was still there and still a garage until a year ago. Mm. Mm. It's now been, I understand, been demolished and the flats have been mm. built there. But it was a running garage until a, about a year ago. Mm. Oh, that's that is a recent photograph. Look, of the yeah uh, site taken of the site. Still, is basically the same garage, but it's, I mean it's the same building, but mm. it's been a Skoda agent and she had it there mm. in 19, 2005 when mm. that, that photograph was taken. That's the last photograph I've got of it. Mm. The, so what have we got here? These are <laughs> particular cars supplied. Morris 25 Saloon and the Morris 10 Coupe supplied by P.G. Page in 1934 to Major General Kincaid Smith of Sonoza's Priory. That's a photograph of the two cars as supplied at, mm. at that time. And there's the two cars outside the car. And then um, these, this photograph here was taken in 19... 35, when Morris Motors um, had their own aircraft and they used to fly the sales manager down by plane sometimes, <laughs> which is quite advanced and oh, when you take it in 35. Yeah. And there's a photograph of the, of the plane and it, it came down in the, what was then the little airfield run by the army, mm. the air, air, up at um, Gosbeck's Road there. And that's the plane coming down, and there's a bit in the press, a um, little bit in the press about it at the time, which was quite a thing, I suppose. Um, the um, that's my father and uh, in the middle, and the um, the man, the sales manager Morris Motors was there, mm. and that sort of thing. I don't think there's much here, except that it's an old price list of. Second-hand cars mm -hmm. <laughs> um, of the time. This is obviously pre-war, before the war. Um, there's several things there: pound, ninety pound, hundred and ten pound, and mm. that sort of thing. Mm. Quite, you know, 1935. So it's there's nothing very. The most expensive second-hand one is about two hundred pounds. Mm. <laughs> mm. Now look at them. There's a picture there of the old garage, is there? Um, yeah, yes. I don't know. The photograph I was thinking of. Oh, this this one here mm. is the, the garage, isn't it? That is the garage at Crouch Street. That was taken... Um, Page's garage at 38 Crouch Street, as at 1938. Mm. 1930, 1938. The petrol pumps are on the pavement. I remember those. I think I do anyway. And of course, the, the, that showroom is still standing, mm. but that that's been taken away, and and the flats have been built on that mm. part of the site. Mm. And that's a, that was the showroom at that time. And these are various bodies that they were built at different times, um, just after the war or just before the war. That one was just before the war, because it was uh, 1939. They built, they took an old car and mm. cut the body off and built that mm. sort of ambulance body on. And that's a sort of a um, 1937 van, which has been converted into a sort of a more of a state car. <laughs> Different. <laughs> and that was uh, that was a. Uh, 
little display they had at at the end of the war, I think, or just just after the war, mm. at the, in the Castle Park, where various manufacturers like Davy Paxman's and Woods and that, mm. who were making things for the war, era, and we had a little display of our parts that we made mm. for the uh, for the aircraft during the war, and that was done at the Mill Street Depot. And oh, this is a photograph of about 1938. And uh, with the various dealers and and, and all from all around the country, British Isles. And father's there somewhere. And the father's there look, with his <laughs> with his brother from mm. Bexhill are there, both there. And that's Lord Nuffield. Lord Nuffield in the centre, sitting in the standing up in the sunshine through the sunshine roof, <laughs> pointing out the features of the new car, mm. the Morris car. Mm. And these are various bodies that were built at Mill Street. Various commercial bodies and things. And this is some of the caravans which are on, were built immediately after the war, really. Mm. For the ledger industry, I suppose. Well, it, it, and it kept the body shop going mm. you know, until it went more, more demand for commercial vehicles and special bodies and mm. sort of the interiors and that. And, and that's... Um, that was, was a Mill Street, I don't know what. Oh, this is when um, Ted Fenton was the manager of Colchester United. Colchester United Football Club, and um, he ordered a new Morris, it must have been about 1948, I think. Mm. Morris, that's a Morris 10 of that type. And um, eventually, when it, it came through and it was ready, he went. We went up to the works with my father to collect it mm. at Morris's at Cowley, Oxford, and um, they gave him a terrific reception there because at that time the Colchester team was doing extremely well <laughs> and beating all these top clubs. Mm. And when it went at lunchtime, we went into the canteen there, and there was about six thousand people in the workers mm. in the canteen, and he gave a talk. And they all clapped and cheered, and, mm. they, and here's Ted Fenton from Colchester. Mm. Hero. And Morris works in Colchester, at, um, in mm. Oxford. Well, we're almost out of film now, so... I'm oh, sorry, right out. Well, so, well, that's my hour up with the film. But, that's uh, it. Well, that, well, these are all photographs of bit, bits of the workshop. Mm. And things. That's a lovely book you've got there, because you've, you've marked it up and preserved and for posterity as they say. Shop. They used to do reconditioning mm. engines and all sorts of things. And this is a coach, couple of coaches that were built, mm. coach bodies they built at Mill Street. So that's really mm. what that was. That's, that's about it, I think. Oh, that's lovely. There's another one there brings it more up to date. Yes, but, um, Fades and Scott are going, but well, I think we'll have to hold it there because I'm run yeah, out of film. Yes, right, certainly. What have we got this there? Gorgeous. Oh, this was just. Oh, this was the staff in the wartime at Mill Street, mm. who they mostly made the, the aircraft bits. Can we name them all? Well, I can name some. You've had a go at it, so you've got a list there. I've got some here. Um, that was George Shepherd. Uh, he was electrician, the electrician chap, mm. and then Mr. Cousins, who came from, Mr. Collins rather, who came from Holland on Sea, who worked there, and that was Harry Golding, who was an old mechanic mm. at, the, at the Pages, and then he, in doing the war, he made, in the, went in the machine shop and made the, the aircraft parts. Um, Leslie Bell. Bert Tracy, who was the, one of the foremen, and Frank Hicks, mm. who subsequently, after the war, um, was in charge of the Rolls and Bentley service side.